Hello everyone, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. So today we'll see how to uh, archive the artifacts with every uh, job or every build in Jenkins. And uh, we will also see how to clone a project in Jenkins. That is cloning is basically uh, making an exact uh, copy of the job. So let's get started. So I'll go with the Gradle Java project. So I want to just clone this project. So I'll just copy the job name. Go to new item, go to the last tab and last part which mentions copy from. So just mention the name of the uh, job here and here we need to give our own job. So I'll just give artifact storage demo uh, and just click OK. So now it will copy and make the exact replica of the uh, Gradle job. So it has copied exactly the same. The next part now for including the or archiving the artifacts uh, with every build i need to select this option in the post build action and post build action is the part where your build once your build is run it will take care of the other steps as part of the post build activity so we'll select archive the artifacts now here we need to mention the file name so the file name is like uh, it should be inside your build jacobo folder so once your uh, build executes, it will create the build folder and uh, then it will store uh, your artifacts under the Jacopo folder. So our artifacts uh, for today is like we want to uh, just archive this text.exec file. Now what is artifact? Artifact is any uh, build output which we get or the result, uh, which can be some XML file in the case of test cases or in the case of Java project, it may be your uh, jar, war or ER file. Uh, which you want to store or deploy to any server so for my case i am just considering this uh, as test.exec so i have just given the path and this path is related to your workspace path in jenkins so let's uh, give the pattern of the file which is should archive with every will this is star.exec now save it that's it and it's so simple just you need to execute the build and once the build is success it will run the uh, post build step which is to archive our exec file so we can see like the build is getting executed and it is successful now now it will run the post uh, build steps okay so post build step is also success so let's go to our build so this is the build here and let's see our archive artifacts so here is our last successful artifact and this is the s.exec file you can download it so that's it uh, for the demo part now let me take the advanced version uh, for the archive artifacts or the advanced section where uh, i'll show some more options which may be useful in your project so let's go to the advanced section and here uh, my case is like suppose uh, suppose we have some jar file uh, which doesn't exi exist at this location I, and i know that so it should fail the build so now there may be some cases like where your artifacts are not produced but you still want the uh, build to pass so in that case you can just uh, go ahead and select with this action uh, action which is like archive artifacts uh, only if the build is successful and when the build is failed you don't want to archive the artifacts so you can just go for this option and also like do not fail the build if archiving returns nothing so let me just save it and i'll show you like when i once i build it uh, this should fail because we don't have the artifact which i have mentioned just now in the post build section and if it doesn't find it will by default fail so in that case like uh, in our case to case uh, like in suppose in our case we need it like the post build action should never fail as uh, we don't consider it to be more important uh, or not required for our project uh, so in that case we can just uh, enable the check and it will uh, pass the build uh, even if the archiving of the artifact is not successful so we expect this time the build should fail because it will not be able to find the path of the archive artifact as the uh, archive file pattern does not exist So now we can see our build part is success. It will run the post uh, build part now, post build actions. And we can see like, because it didn't find uh, any jar file inside build Jacobo, which is what uh, we are not producing. Hence it has uh, marked the build as failure. 
So you can see like the build has failed. So now I'll just go ahead and uh, make the config change because to me, uh, it doesn't matter like even if the, there is no archiving of the artifact with the pattern. So I'll just select this option and uh, save it and build it again. So this time, even if like uh, it's not able to find the star dot jar or any jar artifact, it will uh, pass my uh, build. And we can see now it is running the post build check or the post build steps. And like we can see it didn't find the pattern, but it has still uh, made the uh, last part of the build as success. So let's see, yeah, it's success. So that's it from the uh, storing of the artifacts uh, with every job part.